Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I'm gonna walk you through all the basic pre-planning you should do before you invest your time and energy in setting up a project management system for yourself or your business. If you're new here, my name is Dan Pavsik, also Infinite Prototype. I am a creative professional living in NYC. I have seven years of marketing and creative operations experience. I have set up project management systems for seven figure enterprise level organizations before. So I feel a little bit qualified to be making a video on this topic. I'll make a few recommendations for software or apps that you can use at the end. So if you want to skip ahead to that, here's the time code. And it's important to remember that systems are not one size fits all. It'll take some trial and error before you figure out what works best for you and your team. And if you're working for a large organization, there are some more advanced features that you'll need to consider that I won't be covering in this video. So if you want me to make a video on that, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, now that we've got all of that out of the way, let's get into the questions themselves. First one is gonna be, are you using this for business or personal project management? Now, there's not a huge difference when we get later on down the line, but it will determine how much money you should invest upfront and to what depth of features you'll actually need in a system. Are your projects simple or complex? Meaning, are your projects really just single issue tasks that you need to check off, or are they bigger initiatives with multiple steps and deadlines that you need to reach to achieve the larger goal of the project. Do you want to capture data? If so, what data do you need to capture? Is it time tracking, project type, customer type? Some systems will have those fields already put in for you and some of them you'll have to set up the fields yourself. How do you want to view and visualize your projects? Do you want to look at them in a list, a calendar, a Kanban style board, a Gantt chart, the list goes on and not every system will have all these options available to you. So it's important to think visually about what's important to you for understanding your projects before investing in a system. How many people will be using the system? Is it just you? Is it a small team of two to 10? Is it a large organization of 50 plus? Do you need to be able to include contractors or clients or external stakeholders in other departments to have visibility on your projects and your initiatives. And lastly, I want you to think about what does the future look like? That may be hard to think about now, but you should think about, do you want a tool that is going to grow with you and your organization? Do you have plans for growth? Do you want to connect this tool to something else that you're already using, like your CRM system? or your content management system? Are you gonna to need to report on the data that you're inputting into these projects? Do you wanna pull that report from your project management system directly, or do you wanna export your data to a third-party reporting tool? Will you have a lot of repeating work? You wanna know if your software is able to set up blueprints or easily duplicate and reschedule projects for later use. Do you wanna be able to set up recurring tasks and projects? That's all really important to know based on the type of work you're gonna be doing. Whew. Okay, I know that was a lot, but I promise it'll be worth it. Now, normally the next stage in this process is to do a ton of research and look at different tools and compare features side by side. Luckily for you, I've pulled a few options already so that you don't have to. Now let's review a few options based on the answers to the questions that we just went over. If your projects are really just single issues or tasks that you need to check off, consider a to-do list app like Tick Tick or Todoist. These are great to-do list apps. You can just set up your tasks, organize them, set a priority, view them in a calendar if you want to, and even assign them out to team members if you get some of the paid features. If your projects are a little bit more complex than single issue tasks, if you are a medium to large size organization, or you need custom fields and data, or if you're a one man army trying to run a YouTube channel like myself, then consider something like ClickUp, Monday.com, or Notion for your project management system. For large enterprise level organizations with a lot of users, projects, and resources at your disposal, I recommend something a little bit more complex like Workfront, Rike, or Asana. These tools generally have better security, they're more customizable, and they afford you a lot of great integration opportunities with some of the tools you're probably already using in your organization. And there you have it, guys. If you followed along and answered all the questions to the best of your ability, then you're in a better spot than 99% of people who are starting this process by themselves. And if you have any specific questions for me, you can leave them in the comments below. 
And if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel. It's the best way to let me know that what I'm doing is resonating and that I should make more videos like this. So with that being said, if you're still watching, thank you. I appreciate you and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.